Please don't take this personal But you ain't shit And you weren't special Till I made you so You better act like you know That I've been through worse to you Hey guys, it's Brie TV. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a get unready with me. I just got off from work. So I thought this would be the perfect time to basically show y'all my night skin routine. First, I take off my lashes. I usually take these off in my room because I'm notorious for losing lashes. But for the video, we're going to take them off in here. Lashes off. So I use waterproof glue and it's black to put my lashes on because I work in a warehouse. I don't have time for my lashes to be floating. But with that being said, it leaves, y'all see, black glue on my eyelid. To get rid of that, I use the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. This is the blue one. It is all-in-one waterproof, removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. All skin types, even sensitive, oil, and alcohol, and fragrance free. So I love this brand. I love this product because it really does get the glue off. We just put a little bit on the pad. And depending on how much I have, like this one doesn't have a lot, but this one has a lot. I hold it on my eyes. Just literally not even 30 seconds. I hold it just until I don't feel like holding it anymore. <laughs> then rub gently. And look. Like, basically got all of it off. And then the other side for the other eye. Now, if I know I'm wearing lashes the next day, I will skip this step. Cause like I'm really gonna put lashes on again. But if I really just don't want that buildup on my eyelids, I wanna go to sleep completely fresh and clean, then I will do this step. Done, love this product. And it's inexpensive, it's like $9, round it up. Um, but this is a pretty big bottle and I only use this for my eyes because for my makeup, I just wash my face. So it lasts me a while. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually tie my hair up. Y'all see the lace front is laid. We can't be having no lifting because of the water. So since I have a little swoop going on, I'm gonna use my big scarf to get the swoop and the edges. And we got our robe on. We got the black one on today. I have, I'm obsessed with robes, obsessed. So today we're wearing the black one. That's the mood we in. I got this scarf from the hair store. And now I'm gonna put my bonnet on and put these 30 inches up. There, oh, they're both pink cheetah print, cute. Now, time to wash our face. I'm using the Shea Moisture African Black Soap. It is not an authentic African black soap, but this works for my skin. I don't know what it is because I've heard people around me who said it actually burned their skin. But this works. I don't know. Okay, done with that. Next, I use my ice roller. I try to do this every night, but like sometimes I just want to go to bed. So yeah, rub it on your face for 60 seconds is ideal. But like I said, I just be wanting to go to bed. So I would do like 30 sometimes. But I'm telling you, doing this, you will see big differences in your skin texture. Um, I have bags under my eyes. It's helped with that too. I love this. And then you just get used to how cold it is. It starts to feel really good. Okay. Dry face. Now I don't let it fully dry down before I go on with my aloe vera. I don't know what it is. I've been using aloe vera like since middle school and my acne got bad in fifth grade, like really bad. So I had to learn to get my skin together quick. And honestly, this exact routine is what got my skin together. I have acne prone skin. So you see I have a little bit of pimples, whatever. And I used to have really bad dark spots. This has really helped. 
So yeah, I've been using aloe vera since forever, so I just keep using it. It's like a toner. Next, African Shea Butter. Love this. When they say when you go to bed, you're supposed to be looking like a glazed donut, they're literally talking about African Shea Butter. Like, yes. It is super moisturizing. And then especially like in the winter when everyone's skin gets drier, super moisturizing. We wanted to get on the neck or oh, let me go up before my neck be sagging. But definitely put it down to your neck. So if I'm really tired after this, I will literally stop like over it. But we're gonna do the whole nine. Yeah. Next, I use this Body Shop Vitamin E Under Eye Cream. Vitamin E is known to be very moisturizing. So that's what I use under my eye. Honestly, like, I don't have dark circles, but I do have puffiness. I know that ice is good for the puffiness, but I don't know if like moisture is good, but I love the Body Shop, so. I'm just going to use it until it's out. Next, I use this for my dark spots, the different dark spot correcting serum. This really did work. I will say you have to be consistent and it takes a couple months, especially if you have older scars. But like, if I'm comfortable enough, I'll put up a picture of how my skin used to look and like, you barely see dark spots. I do a little pump, like a little, little pump because it low-key breaks my skin out if I put too much. So only little pumps, and then I'll massage it around the whole area because I have dark spots on this area, which you can't see it on the camera, but I do have dark spots there. Do the other side. Last thing to end this routine, I know it was a quick video, but I just want to get y'all the info, you know, and I'll link the products down below. They will be affiliated links because I have a Amazon affiliated account. So yeah, I did show y'all the products though. So if you just want to go look it up yourself, that's cool. But yeah, the links will be down below. I also want to show this product. It's Zapsit Acne Treatment Gel. It's benzoyl peroxide. I love benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide has worked really well for my skin. I use the Penny Oxo in the morning. This is a benzoyl peroxide face wash. And I used to use, it was the Walmart version of Proactive. That's what it was called. And that is also benzoyl peroxide. So I just learned that benzoyl peroxide really works well for my skin. So that's what I use. So yeah, this is a benzoyl peroxide acne treatment gel. So when I have a pimple, I pop it just a little. I know you're not supposed to pop it, but fuck it, I pop it. Put this on it. Match it with the acne pad. It don't gotta be this exact brand, but put the little patch on it and it's it's done. The next day, it's like a significant amount smaller than the day before. And even if you don't use the acne patches, this works by itself. I love this product. It's really saved me when I knew my pimples gone ASAP. Last thing I like to do before bed is exfoliate my lips. I use these e.l.f. ones because they're pretty inexpensive. This is the Sweet Cherry. I like to I soil my lips with a product at night and in the morning I just use my toothbrush when I'm brushing my teeth. So I smoke pretty often and smoking can definitely turn your lips black. So I always make sure I'm on top of my shit and exfoliating these lips, mama. And this is so easy because it's, it's a lipstick shape. So you literally don't you don't have to put your finger in nothing. Like, yeah. I love Elf products too. That is all for this video. If you liked the video, give it a like. If that was helpful, give it a like. Comment down below any products I should try because I do have these. I have good molecules. I heard they were a good brand. I have the hyaluronic acid and the nice, the niacinamide serum. Um, I used one of them. I can't remember which one and it broke my skin out. Maybe I used too much. I don't know. Y'all let me know if these are good products or if there's any other products I should try for acne prone, oily skin. Let's all help each other down below. But yeah, thank you for watching. Love y'all. Make sure y'all check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe.